Hey everybody, Susan Rashawn here, the Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel, where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello, my friends. Welcome to this week's episode. And today's topic has to do with online project management and really debunking the fact or the rumor that you need to have technical expertise in whatever type of project you're managing because you don't. So one of the things that you have to realize as an online project manager is you're being hired as a project manager, not what I call a SME, which stands for subject matter expert in a piece of technology. Now you certainly can be, but for a lot of people starting out in the online project management space, there is a belief that you need to know the technology that you're managing for your clients. And that is not true. You do not need to understand the technology in any great depth, but it will help you if you do, but you don't have to when you start out. That's why you have subject matter experts or team members that that's their expertise. That's their skill set that they bring to the table. Because as a project manager, your responsibilities is focusing on the project, making sure that things are getting done on time and everything is delivered when it's supposed to be. That's your role. So you're managing all the spinning plates. You're not implementing anything. You're responsible for the people that are doing the implementation. So I'll use myself as an example. I have done online projects uh, myself with technology that I did not understand and the client was very much aware of the fact that they just wanted me to make sure that everybody that's working on the project is doing what they need to do, making sure that they're getting done. At the end of the day, the project was delivered on time and on budget. That is the norm. Now, you can also be a subject matter expert in one or many technologies. So if you decide that you want to be um, someone that specializes in you know, working with course creators to launch their new courses or updates, you can certainly do that. But then you can also take it a niche or a step further and focus on a specific, specific technology like Kajabi or Teachable. The beauty to online project management is you don't need the tech skills to get started. And then you can play with all these different types of projects and decide what you really enjoy and then focus on that. So your role as a PM, what you're being hired for is to manage the spinning plates and make sure nothing falls through the cracks, the plates don't drop, and that everything is delivered on time and on budget. You have people on your team that are responsible for the tech side of things. And if there's problems, they are the people that answer those questions. Now, the other myth is that you need to have your own team to do effective project management. And that's not true either. I've worked with so many clients that they hire me just to manage their team and the people that they've brought together to launch their product, their group coaching program, or their membership program. So you don't need a full staff and team. I mean, you certainly can, but you don't need that. So really is key here is that you need to be a project manager. You need to manage all the moving plates. You do not need technical expertise or implementation because that's not what you're doing. You're managing the implementers. But the other things that are really key here is you have to have effective communication and coordination between yourself, your team, whatever team you're managing, and the client and you have to be on top of everything. So communication is key when it comes to project management. And then obviously navigating challenges without tech expertise, well, that's where you lean on your team members. They are the ones that are gonna have to tell you how to fix a problem. You know, I was a software um, development um, IT project manager. Now, even though I've done programming in the past, I didn't understand the software or the language that I was managing the project for. And if there was an issue, I just went directly to the tech people to say, look, there's an issue, how do we fix this? That is what they were hired to do. Same thing with your team for an online project manager. So the skills that matter for you as an online PM is organizational skills. You need to be able to organize. You need should be detailed oriented. You should be some type of a leader. You're not afraid to take charge. You should be able to adapt. You should be able to stay on top of 
all those moving pieces, the time, the deliverables, and just make sure that you have effective communication. So I really just wanted to do this quick podcast episode to dispel those myths that you have to be a techie, that you have to understand all of that, that you have to implement. You're not doing any of that. You can start with just becoming a PM and then playing in the different projects and finding one that resonates with you. Then you can certainly specialize, but you don't have to out the gate. Now, if you're interested in learning more about becoming an online business PM, make sure to check out my free training that talks about going from VA to PM. It will give you a lot of great little nuggets of information, and it will also introduce you to my online business project management course that will be rebranded this year, this is 2023, as the Techie PM before the year is over. So stay tuned for more details. And as always, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.